Hi, you're watching the Jazz Cam, and I'm Jasmine Graza, reporting to you from the California Republican debates at the beautiful Reagan Library in Simi Valley, Wednesday night, January 30th, 2008. Tonight, Rudy Giuliani withdrew from the race and announced his support for Senator John McCain. But I made it clear at different times during this campaign that if I had not decided to run, I believe I even said it out of faith, that if I had not decided to run, the one person in this country that I clearly would have supported for President of the United States would be John McCain. Follow us backstage into the spin room after the debate, where we will meet and greet with the different campaign spokesman and even Republican candidate Ron Paul. not mad at anybody, but he does want to see these issues uh, uh, brought forward and, and, and kept in the public focus, not only because they're the right thing to do, but also because I think they're, they're, they're effective politics for the country. But then don't you risk just being in the campaign strictly to get issues out there and not to actually run for president? Listen, we'll, you, 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 nobody should be so uh, hubristic as to say that he or she knows who's going to win uh, uh, next next Tuesday and, and any any place. There's too many, just too many changes. I think okay. experience of seeing uh, uh, the polls, on, as I remember in the uh, Real Clear Politics average, uh, on the day of the New Hampshire primary, Obama was ahead by eight and lost by three. So if they're 11 points off in one day, then that's a reminder that who, anything can happen. And we're, 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 we're you know, look, we understand we're in a fight. We understand we're the underdog now. That's fine. Uh, we've been there before. Uh, we've been underfunded before. We've been, you know, cast aside by the, you know, the pundit, punditical uh, forecasters of work, uh, but we just have confidence in our message, and we're going to keep at it. Do you think your guy did enough today, tonight, to uh, to uh, you know, overcome well, say, I, yeah, say I'll tell Florida you what, yeah, and, and, I'll tell you and the what perception I, of McCain as the front runner? Well, I'll tell you what I, I think happened. Coming out of Florida, um, we essentially saw this race become a two-man race and the reset button get hit. And uh, right now, it's a, this is the starting point for uh, a week-long um, contest between two individuals and their competing visions for the, for the party. So I think that what you saw tonight was Governor Romney make a very strong statement that he's the best person to lead the party on issues related to strengthening the family, uh, on economic issues, uh, given the fact that the economy is number one issue in the, kind of in the country right now, as well as on national security issues. Um, and um, if, if this is a debate about the future and where we take this country, Governor Romney probably did, did the best tonight, and I think that's going to make. I think it's going to have a very strong impression on a lot of people who are in all these in, the, in these 22 contests across the next week who are still making up their mind. John's candidacy. You just look at the endorsements here on the national security side. You know, the, the side, the the senator side, they represent every corner of the party. I mean, Rudy Giuliani and Tom Cooper. My goodness. Oh, uh, in October. Yes, what? Judges, liberal conservative. Yes. Pro life Correct. policy, pro choice policies. War policy, withdrawal or win. Taxes, up or down, spending higher or lower. It's going to be the most uh, clear choice you'll ever have between the Democratic candidate and John McCain. Why did you call the, uh, okay. the Romney McCain thing about who said what about whether they were withdrawn? Why did you call that silly? What, what well, I guess that's the word that came to my mind. Why well, it just sounded silly to me. I don't know whether I was the only one in the country that thought that, but maybe somebody else would agree with me because they were nitpicking. They weren't saying anything, and they weren't dealing with the issue. The issue was foreign policy about why we're there. It wasn't so much as you said why and what did this mean and when did you say it. I mean, it was just a total distraction from what I think is important. Like, why do we go to wars without declaring them? I think that. Um, um, voters are going to make their judgment for who's going to lead the party, who's going to be the nominee, based on uh, whether or not they agree with the candidate on the issues, uh, not whether or not a candidate has, a, has an endorsement or not. So essentially, um, with uh, with those endorsements today, he's got he's got two more votes than we do uh, going into February 5th. Uh, but uh, there's a you know there's a lot of competition to go from uh, a lot of contests that have to be held over the next week.